Bridge, which spans the Thames near the Tower of London, is one of the capital's most instantly recognizable landmarks. It was built in 1894 in response to huge public pressure to ease congestion over London Bridge. Although there were several bridges to the west of London Bridge by the mid-19th century, there were none to the east, and by the 1880s, it was taking carriages literally hours to cross London Bridge. Plans for the bridge were controversial. It was feared that the bridge would staunch the flow of river traffic to Pool of London, the area of river further downstream from London Bridge. This was the commercial hub of the British Empire, and so it was essential that a drawbridge of sorts would be designed. In 1876, a competition was held to see who could design the new crossing. It was won by Horace Jones and John Wolfe Barry, son of Charles Barry, who designed the Houses of Parliament. Construction started in 1886 and took eight years, and the result was the largest, most sophisticated bascule bridge in the world at that time. Bascule means seesaw in French. A bascule bridge is a drawbridge with a counterweight. Tower Bridge has two bascules, weighing 1,000 tons each, which were raised using a hydraulic lifting mechanism powered by enormous steam engines. The steam engines were in operation until 1976, when the system was electrified. When the Port of London was at its busiest, the bridge would be lifted several times a day. Although the towers seem like solid stone, and indeed were designed to fit in with the architecture of the nearby Tower of London, they are in fact huge steel skeletons clad in Cornish granite and Portland stone. A unique feature of the bridge is the elevated walkways, 143 feet above the Thames, which were designed to allow pedestrians to cross the bridge when the lower part of the bridge was raised. However, this upper level soon became a hangout for thieves and prostitutes, and was closed in 1910. Fortunately, the public was given access to the walkway again in 1982, with the opening of a permanent exhibition inside the bridge called the Tower Bridge Exhibition.